Welcome everybody to another unboxing. Um, today's unboxing is, I guess I'm a little behind. Um, these came in or came out actually about a week ago. Um, I've had them, but I just haven't had time to get on here and actually unbox them. So this is gonna be my first time looking at them in person. Um, I've seen other reviews uh, and I think just from what the shoe is and even before, uh, I would say it's probably one of my favorite vapors. I guess one of the my favorite vapor colorways ever. Um, but I guess let's just open it. I'm just gonna do quick unboxing because again, it's the same material, Superfly. If you can see by the title, it's nothing different. There are no tech specs that are different, nothing like that. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it, open it up, and see what it looks like. Open. I'm glad that Nike has finally made the boxes smaller. They used to come in like really big boxes and I don't don't know why. Um, so here we go. Let's open it up. Nice, I guess, special edition box that it comes in. Let's throw it out there. You can see it comes in the black, a black box. Um, normally their cleats come in like the silver package and this is just all black and as you can see right here the superfly elite killian mbappe um a special shoe i guess made for him the colorway um has some special meaning for him uh, basically the meaning behind it is that um he really wanted the i think it was the vapor four if i'm not mistaken don't quote me on that um, the pink ones that Frank Ribery wore, um, they did this really cool commercial. You can look it up. Um, they did like this pink Panther thing and these aren't the same pink. I, I don't know exactly, but let's see what this official colorway is. Uh, it just says pink blast, white and black. This is not the same color, exact color that came on that, um, vapor back then. Um, so it's a little bit different, but I still really like it and I think it's really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and take them out for you guys to look at you can see right there nike football in pink so i think this was the pink that they originally released in as you can see as you know for nike they're just doing like remakes of colors which i think is pretty cool um they could i think they could do it where it's your choice you know release something new and then if you want to you know ask for a certain color or something like on a nike id you know you should be able to do that or you should be able to pick any color that you want right now just looking through the paper the paper is a little different too it says nike football and then it has the killing mbappe um i guess signature logos whatever they have so you can already see them shining right through that's really cool uh, oh whoa 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 i don't even know if i will wear these to be honest well, first of all, I don't even know if I'm going to be playing soccer for a while. My league has started back up or is going to be starting back up, but I just don't feel safe. I'm seeing all these professionals um, who are, um, you know, getting the virus. And I don't know if that's just because they're around other players or they're just not quarantining or doing the necessary steps. But for me, I don't I don't know, man. Leave a comment below if you're struggling with the same thing or you just said forget it i'm gonna play because it's been a long time without football and man this is crazy but anyway here is the shoe it is beautiful don't tell me it's not rather you like pink or not you have to you have to admit that this this shoe is is amazing and if i had the money i would save this pair version the superfly version and get the get the vapor version to play in or or just buy another um superfly version because this is a superfly and wow wow i mean there's nothing really different as far as tech specs go it's all about the color it's all about um just bring back the remakes and stuff if you can see in here i don't think you'll be able to see in there um but it does have the killing mbappe well um signature thing inside you can probably see that um but yeah everything i think it's pretty much the same as any other vapor and it's just about the color man it's all about the color they got this um little thing in the back 
that's a, that's a little bit different um the swoosh obviously the swoosh is different they kind of made it more look more like like a a lightning bolt if, if you're a fan of that i don't know i guess it's kind of cool um and then the bottom see the bottom is more this part is more what the original color was like i i i think to me i think it was more that color um but this is still a really great color and man i love them to say back here nike football project concert mccurry designed and nike headquarters i don't know if that'll come off is that like a sticker Let's see if you guys can see that you see that so yeah i don't know if that will come off or peel off but feels like it would i'm of course going to personalize these because these will be staying with me in my collection and if i decide to play whenever i do i will probably be wearing these um so nike is my so if you haven't heard the news nike is going away from neymar apparently um at first i thought it was just uh um you know just use a scheme to get people to maybe buy his product because if you know if you notice his product isn't selling very well anymore ever since that little thing he had with the world cup like his shoes just don't they're not selling out so i feel like they kind of had to create something or maybe they really just decided you know we're not going to pay you as much as what you want because he might just be demanding a lot of money which is you know there's nothing wrong with that i feel like athletes really I feel like they really don't care about, you know, what who represents them or what's what they're representing. It's more about the money. There's nothing wrong with that at all, um, because you know you have to live a life. There's a life after sports, and you just want to have as much money as you can. Obviously, when you retire, um, so I don't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, it does suck if you see a player that was, you know, in a certain brand or a certain product throughout their whole career and all of a sudden is switching and it says he might go to Puma. Um, that kind of sucks, but I mean, if he wants more money and Nike's not willing to give him that, or they feel that they have other players, if you look at Kylian Mbappe, they got Jordan Sancho, um, he's coming up. They made him his own kind of signature shoe, which I passed on. I like it, I like the look of it, but it was, it was just a lot going on for me um, as far as all the writing and everything on that. If they happen to restock, Maybe I'll pull the trigger. They were more expensive at the retail price of 300. These are retail at 295. I don't know what the five dollar um, difference was in that regards. Um, uh, but yeah, so I think and, you know, and, they, and then you still have Cristiano Ronaldo who is still doing good things and still at 35 years old. You know, still performing pretty well and looks like he could have a few more years. Um, so, I mean, if, if you're, if you're a Nike, I, I feel like you don't really think you need Neymar and maybe that's kind of what happened or we'll see, who knows? There hasn't been an announcement that he's officially with Puma. They haven't said he's wearing what shoe until they have him in a shoe or until they say that he's signed with them. You never know. You, you just never know. You know, I've seen players that have said they're leaving the brand and then they stick with the brand. Um, but here's the, um, uh, little bag and it has his little, you know, signature stuff, Kylian Mbappe. This bag is kind of cool. It's like carbon fiber look that if you, the original Vapor before did have the carbon fiber in it, uh, the Superfly or whatever. And it's kind of just looks like that. And it's, I wish this um, bag would have been like the pink one though, from the, um, the new Phantom. Uh, oh my goodness. The, the new Phantom GT, I already forgot. Honestly, I still have those, but I'm gonna return them because it just didn't feel right for me. It just doesn't feel like a boot that I could be comfortable wearing. So uh, I'm gonna return those, you know, soon because it just didn't feel like my fit. And that's because I didn't even get to play them. Maybe they gotta be broken in, I don't know. It, I just had some weird sensation where it kind of felt like my feet, like I had put them on the wrong foot, if that makes sense. Like it was pushing my feet against like, you know, the straight part was too straight on here. I, I, I don't know. I can't describe when I had them on. So for they're not for me. Maybe they're for you or somebody else, and that's okay. So, um, but for me, it just wasn't for me. So, here you guys go. Killing Mbappe, um, pink Rosa colorway. Uh, I guess for the little backstory, I owe you guys 
to tell you um basically uh his parents he wanted the original uh, vapor which he must have been like i don't even know he's probably only what 20 21 right now so he must have been really young um but his parents told him if he did well in school they would um buy him the shoes and they had to save up like an immense amount of time in order to get them i'm sure when he probably got them they were probably already you know onto a new color or, or a new color and back then they didn't come out as frequent so um but that's kind of the story that he liked that that vapor a lot so it's kind of cool and he got to get them so i know what that's like being a little kid and asking for something and then when you finally get it it's pretty cool uh but i'm not a nike athlete where i can say make me a shoe after that um uh, and have a story like that that's that's pretty cool uh, but there you go there's a shoe there's the unboxing talk a little bit about it uh, let me know what you guys think about these are they too bright to wear would you wear these if you had a pair um, or should they just be left alone and not touched also uh, like i said i will be doing some uh personalization if that's something that you guys want to see me do and i'll show you guys how i do it you know, I can add my name, I can add a number, I can, you know, put my country flag. So it's like they do it um, for the pros. I show you, I can show you guys how I do it my way. Uh, I'm going to make a video on that, but let me know if you guys want to see that sooner than later. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.